Yeah, I want to do a comparison between the Droid Bionic and the Samsung Galaxy Nexus, both on Verizon. I actually um, just decided to trade in my Droid Bionic for the Galaxy Nexus. And just in comparison, I'd like to say for sure that the screen is definitely much more bright and robust on the Nexus than it is on the, the Droid Bionic. I'd also say having the Bionic for a while, so um, I guess it remains to be seen a little bit on the Nexus, but on the Bionic, the battery life has always been pretty bad. I've had this for since February, so like seven months, eight, you know, eight months. And the battery is typically, you know, six to eight hours is about what it lasts. Here, I'm at eight hours and um, the battery is only at, is at 71%. So normally here it's dead. And like I said, it's long testing here. Here, the Nexus, it's still going to be left to be said, but the battery is a little bit stronger on the Nexus. It has more, more milliamp hours. Drawback, or maybe you're okay with it, the Nexus has built-in memory of 32 gigabytes whereas the Bionic has 16, but it has the ability to put in a, a storage card. Um, clearly, I mean, I don't know, I have a lot of apps on this, and I've never even come close to, you know, what you might use. Again, this camera might not do it justice, but the color between here and here the Nexus is just so much better of a screen. I like it a lot. Um, obviously, Android 4.0, still 2.3 here. The Droid Bionic is supposed to be updated shortly to 4.0, but again, it will have the Motorola, um, the Motorola interface, whatever it's called. And maybe you like it. Maybe you don't. It you know has this kind of drop-down thing where you can have all your contacts which I thought was pretty interesting, but it did take a lot. If you picked one of your favorite contacts, um, you had to then pick what you wanted to do. So it seemed like it was a lot of steps anyway, so um, not necessarily my favorite thing. Let's see, what else can I say about the two? The Droid Bionic is by far, um, because it has that lip on the back, um, and I'll bring it over into the light here, because it has the part that actually gets bigger, um, the bottom of this, I'm just gonna move them over here so that's a little bit easier to follow. The bottom width-wise is definitely, or height-wise from you know the bottom to the top, um, they are basically almost the same on the, on the bottom of the phone, but at the top of the phone, the Bionic is clearly thicker and heavier for sure definitely heavier um, perhaps you kind of like that heavier feel um, I feel for sure that this one even though it's pretty heavy would probably be largely likely to be pretty strong um, I have the Verizon plastic soft plastic case on it I didn't get a case for the for the Nexus yet, I uh, have one on order. But the, I've put this in my back pocket tons of times and there, I never felt like it seemed flimsy. And I did see when I was buying the Nexus, there's a lot of them on eBay with cracked screens. So maybe, again, I don't know for sure, but maybe um, the Nexus has, um, you know, is more likely to crack because it's thinner, I don't know and it's definitely very thin and I kind of like the way it curves up between the top and the bottom um, again like I said I like it a lot it's definitely fast I believe the processor is faster I think it's a 1.5 gigahertz dual core I'm not sure versus a 1 gigahertz dual core on the Droid Bionic I did find uh, like I said I have a lot of apps on the Droid Bionic and I'm not going to put as many um, I have six, almost six screens of apps. I'm not going to put as many apps on the Galaxy Nexus, but without question, it got sluggish over time, and 
I do have my work email under good. So maybe that's part of it. I did have a lot of text messages. That could be part of it. But at times the Droid Bionic did get sluggish. So not going to speak much about the interface between the two. Uh, like I say, this has the 4.0 and this has the 2.3. If you know what they are, then you know there's there's really no way to compare. They're two different operating systems. Well, obviously they're the same uh, Android for, as far as being Android, but one's much older version and then one's a newer version. The screen size is roughly the same. You'll see here that, you know, here's the top of the screen on each, basically lined up exactly the same. Now at the bottom, the screen on the Nexus is bigger, but it has these dedicated buttons um, on the screen part, whereas this is kind of a separate part. So for the most part, if you consider this part as not really screen used, then they're the same size screen. Um, I did notice though on YouTube that these will kind of disappear and maybe give you a little more room. Um, but like I said, the display is nice, the speed's nice, and overall, it's only two days with the, the Nexus S, but I like it.